Okay, Jack, come on. Come on, man, you can do this. You're an animal. You're a tiger. No, 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 no. You know what, Jack? You're better than that. You're more, you're more sensitive, more graceful. Girls like that makes them feel safe. You're a flamingo on the hunt. Come on, Jack. <clears throat> oh, hey. Hi, Jess. You all right? Oh, what are these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are um, for, for, for you. Fuck. <clears throat> hey, babe. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <sighs> Jessica, I think you are the most beautiful girl in the world and I know I don't really stand a chance with you because well look at me but I am um, I really like you and I just would love the chance to show you how much I like you so if there was any chance I could take you out for a drink sometime that would be incredible maybe you should try by asking me to my face uh. <laughs> uh, stalking people is not normal. I was taking photos. I wasn't stalking anyone. I've seen your bedroom, Jack. Every wall is covered with pictures of random images of anything. They're not random. They're important. You wouldn't understand. Why did you follow Sarah, Jack? She's very scared, you know? I didn't mean to scare her. She's gorgeous. She reminds me of my mum. She even has the same necklace, the one with the bell and the sapphire. Mm. I checked online, ran a few tests. She has the same bone structure, 92.86% match. Jack. Like I said, every photo is important. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. And look, can we just talk, No, please? no, no, there's nothing left to say. You either report me or you leave me alone. Either way, I, I have to finish this. Listen, mate. No, no, don't worry about it. You know, truth's out there. I can't unhear what's been said now. It's been said. You do realise I'm the one who was looking through all the magazines. I'm the one who went through which for recommendations. I even called up all the insurance companies just to find out which would be the best option for us to insure. Do you have any idea how many miles you can get out on this bad boy? It doesn't matter to you, does it? Did you know this car got an 82.5% safety test rating? Yeah, that's right. When I went out shopping for our car, I was taking into account both your financial and your physical well-being, and you just don't really care. You didn't even help me look. You just thought, poor old Jack, he'll, he'll get on with it, it's fine. Oh mate, come on, don't be like that. You raised your voice at me. Well, I didn't mean to. You said it was a shit car. Well, yeah. Come on, mate, if you were a girl, some bloke pulled up in that, what do you think? Honestly. Yeah, honestly. I'd think that he's really mature for his age and that he drives to the speed limit. No question seatbelts would be on. I'd have a lovely journey home, like a bus, but, you know, more cosy.